Morning, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls around the world. It's Monkey Mid here again for another episode of Kiss Bootlegs. Um, it's been a while since I uh, last spoke to you. Um, there's been a few real crackers that have come out. Um, so I think we should just get cracking on, shall we? Um, but before I start on um, the, um, the bootlegs, um, I have got a counterfeit. Now, I know this is not the counterfeit show. I don't normally do counterfeit. Um, but a few of them have been coming through. So uh, I picked up this one because I just thought it was quite interesting. And here it is. Hotter than hell. Um, this one has been counterfeited. I don't know why they've done this one. Um, you can get this in various different colours. Uh, I got the red one, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, they do it in red, orange, blue, green, and probably loads of other colours. And if you're mad enough and you've got loads of money, buy them all, why not? <laughs> but I bought the red one um, simply to kind of like um, replicate the, uh, the pie, UK pie red version. Uh, they go for anything from around 60, 70 pounds up to about 120, 130 pounds. They're really expensive. Uh, not not the sort of money I want to pay out for a um, um, uh, pie red vinyl. So I just thought I'd get one of these. Including postage, 20 pounds. Absolute steal. So I'll show you this. That's the front. And uh, that's the back. Okay. Um, I mean, you've seen this before. We've all got hotter than hell. Well, I hope we've all got hotter than hell. Um, but yeah, so you know what the cover's going to look like. I'll show you the inside. Uh, it's quite nicely done, actually, this. Uh, it just comes in a plain white sort of sleeve. So there you go. And there's the red vinyl. Okay. So very uh, similar to the, um, the pie original UK pie red vinyl, although it's because it's a counterfeit. Uh, normally they're, they're, they're near enough perfect, but you can tell by the printing on the label that it is a counterfeit, okay? Uh, but as I said, 20 pounds, uh, I'd, I'd have that. Well, I have got it. So anyway, and it also comes with um, something else, which is quite nice. There you have it, a hotter than hell poster. Uh, this is actually quite nice. Of course, the original pie issue didn't come with the poster, but um, the counterfeiters decided to um, add this in, which is a nice little touch. Now, the only way that the only way you can tell, uh, or the difference is between this and the pie label, is on the original UK pie issue. There is on the bottom here, or on the top, it's got pie printed in London, manufactured, blah, 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 blah. This hasn't got it, unfortunately, and that's one of the things that gives it away. Um, but otherwise, it's pretty damn good, okay? So there you go, hotter than hell. Anyway, this is not the counterfeit show. This is the bootleg show. So let's crack on with some bootlegs. Here we are, here's the first one, Wicked Kisses. Okay, uh, this basically consists of uh, about, oh, I don't know, about 18, 20 tracks of stuff uh, like demos and that kind of thing. But they've all come from um, Gene's big box set, which I've forgotten what it's called now. Um, but anyway, um, this is called Wicked Kisses. A nice cover to this one. This is, um, yeah, I like the little logo there with the, um, with the faces um, inserted into the logo. Jeans Vault, that's the one I was trying to remember. It's so forgettable, that whole Jeans Vault thing. Um, but that's just my opinion, okay? Um, anyway, you have got, um, that's the back cover. You've got, uh, say, about 18, 20 tracks. Do you want me to read it out? You don't want me to read it out, do you? No, I'll tell you what. Oh, sorry, I'll read it out. Side one, we have Howling for Your Love, Gypsy's Night, uh, Love Come, Love Came to Me, I don't want your romance, none of your business, love by invitation, little lady, Eskimo son. And side two, we have Jelly Roll, Dorothy L'Amour, Rock and Rolls Royce, Reputation, Have Love Will Travel, Rotten to the Core, Stanley the Parrot, and Forever. Okay. Anyway, that's the front. That is the back. And I'll show you the record. And incidentally, this is a picture disc, okay? There we go. That. 
And incidentally, this comes in uh, a red and blue uh, vinyl as well. Um, I chose the picture this because it is a little bit more interesting. And for the grand sum, including postage, for £25, that wasn't bad. Okay. Um, so that's Wicked Kisses. There you go. Get it if you can. Or, again, if you've got shed loads of money, go buy Jean's Vault. £2,000? I don't know how much you guys would be paying in your country for Jean's Vault. I'd rather spend £2,000 on the holiday. But that's just me. Right, moving on. Okay, here we go. Here's the next one. Firehouse in Detroit. Um, this one is basically Detroit 77, the 29th of January uh, 77. So uh, this is obviously, um, there's a DVD or a film uh, concert of this. And it's just been transferred onto vinyl. And it, it not, not, um, it's not a complete show. It's a little bit mishy-mashy. Uh, there's no, um, the encores aren't on here. And it's just a bit of a pointless release, this one. Um, I quite like the cover, it's very nice. It's a 76 shot there, 76, 77. Um, that's the front. It's only a single album, okay. So it doesn't even start off um, uh, with Detroit Rock City. It starts off with, uh, it says Come On Feel The Noise, uh, which you would assume by Slade, or even quite right, I don't know. But it's actually not... Uh, Come, come on, feel the noise. It's um, an actually, it's actually a Pearl Jam track. Okay, I don't quite know why they put a uh, Pearl Jam track on there. I can't remember which one it was. Um, my good friend Neil did inform me, but I can't remember what it was off the top of my head. Can't remember. Uh, so it's a Pearl Jam song. It starts off with, and then it goes into uh, "Let Me Go Rock and Roll," um, "Ladies' Room," "Firehouse," "Making Love," "I Want You," and then the B side is "Cold Gin." You've got the A solo. Do you love me? No, nothing to lose. And God of Thunder. That is it. A strange one, this. Um, but then for £20, you don't expect a lot, do you? You don't get much for your money these days. <laughs> anyway, there you go. That's the front. That is the back. I'll show you the very non-interesting inside. Just a white sleeve. And um, that's it, really. It says something B. Mm. I can't even read it. B said 1975. I have no idea what that means. So just a bit of an odd release. It's like the bootleggers had some vinyl left over, had some cardboard left over. Oh, tell you what, let's produce this, okay? Um, I mean, it's still a collectible piece. You, you, if you collect Kiss bootlegs, I guess you still want it. But it's not an important one, okay? This is just, um, it's just probably taken from the uh, video of the concert. It's good quality sound, but just watch the concert. Should we move on? I think we should. Right, here we have it. Now, we have seen this many a times, way, way back in the time. Back in the day of the dinosaurs, back in the day of Betamax videos. <laughs> Here we go, Anaheim 76, California Anaheim 76, 20th of August, 1976 to be precise. Now we've seen many versions of this, okay? Uh, I have one here, this is part two of it. We've all seen this one, okay? Uh, destroys Anaheim. Um, and there have been other various issues of Anaheim, uh, but I've only got the original one and this one. I think there's two in between, there's, there's two more to collect. Um, but this is the kind of like the deluxe version of the Anaheim 76s, okay? You can tell by the uh, the OV strip here they got. And it comes with various uh, different um, bits and pieces, which I will show you right now. Anyway, there's the front. Well, I can't show you the back because it's been covered by a booklet and a poster. Oh, wow, a booklet and a poster. How cool is that? Anyway, let's have a look at this. This is very nice. Very nice indeed. Oh, it's so tightly packed. Okay, I'm gonna have to get the bits out one by one. Ooh, 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 ooh. Um, 
Okay. Here we go, guys. There's the front. There is the back, which is done in a very, um, well, traditional destroyer type sort of style design there. Okay. Doesn't end there. Let's open this up. We've got a gatefold here. Oh, I won't take the OV off. Okay. So that's a nice stage shot there. There you go. Doesn't end there. Got the inner sleeve. <laughs> Nothing special about the inner sleeve. It's just black. But anyway, this is supposedly orange vinyl. But uh, this one turned out to be a little bit more yellow. There we go. So again, this comes in, I think it's orange. There's a purple one, maybe red, blue, green, yellow, whatever you want, whatever you want. Well, it's not whatever you want. I, I can't remember the colors actually, but I know they do different colors on this, okay. And this is the second record. Uh, now this one is orange, okay? So, yeah. All very nicely done, this one. Um, this is probably the best version of Anaheim 76, uh, which I'm sure, as I said before, many of you have heard um, the original version. Um, so this is like, the songs are all there, everything's complete. Whereas the part ones and part twos, I've got a part one somewhere. This this is kind of like a little bit all over the place. It's not complete. Yeah, it's part one, part two, and it uh, this is just better produced, and it's just very very nice. So that's um, Anaheim seventy six, the complete soundboard. It's called. Okay. And it also comes with. I'm not gonna sh sure if I'm going to be able to get this all in. Right, guys, comes with a very big poster. I'll stand back, so get ready for this. Whoa. Okay, you see that? See that? Whoa, whoa, ha 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 ha. So that's that there. And it also comes with a very nice um, program. I um, don't think this is a um, a replica program this is just something that the bootleggers produced it's very nice it's a 20 page color but let's got all the uh, tickets in there okay I'll try and show you every page or oh, the interesting ones anyway yeah it's got the, uh, the stage set designers upside down or maybe it's that way I don't know there we go and then we've got a uh, nice little Japanese advert there for Anaheim, for Anaheim. Uh, that's a really cool picture. Someone sent me that recently. Thank you, Mr. McKinnon uh, of Anaheim, 76 back in the day. That, that's a really nice picture. I've never seen that before, okay? Or maybe I have, but I've seen so many Kiss pictures in the past. Uh, there's a center one there. A little bit wasted, all the black there. It's live on stage, okay? Would have done more of a close-up picture. That's me being pernickety. Uh, just more pictures there, okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's five cent, and that's uh, that's that end. Okay, and then that's the back of it. So all in all, um, all in all, it's a bloody nice package. This really, isn't it? So there you go, Anaheim, the complete soundboard. What do you want to call it? Yeah, Anaheim, the complete soundboard. There you go. Get it if you can. Well, you probably can't now because they only have limited runs on these, and you need to get on eBay quickly to get one of these. Okay, there you go. Right, next up. Um, a few years ago, I'd say probably about four years ago maybe, uh, we had this, Crazy Like a Fox. Four or five years ago, something like that. Uh, this was um, uh, Auckland, uh, New Zealand, 1980. Um, the only problem with this was there was gaps in between, silent gaps in between each track. Which it's done like an MP3 style, which was really annoying because the quality was really, really good. Uh, I have done a review on this, if you want to catch up on that, uh, a few episodes back, shall we say. Um, so this has been redone now. Um, we've got a new version of Auckland. Here we go. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Done in a very similar style um, to the Anaheim um, packaging. Uh, so this is Auckland. Um, do you know, I can't remember the date of this. This would be uh, December the 3rd, 1980. Absolutely top-notch quality soundboard recording again. Um, 
So let me take it out of its protective sleeve and I'll show you what's inside. Not quite as impressive as the Anaheim um, packaging. There is a poster with this, but no booklet. I would have preferred to cut back on the uh, poster and have maybe a booklet for this, okay? But it comes with a very nice OB here, strip. Uh, again, this comes in different vi colored vinyls. I think I've got the yellow one. This is the yellow, is this thing? Yeah, anyway, we'll have a look. It says yellow. <laughs> so it's there, yellow vinyl. And uh, I have seen this in white vinyl as well, but there's only two colors I've seen. I'm sure they do other colors as well. Just to make you buy them. Waste more of your money, like I have. <laughs> so that's that. Um, that's the back. There you go. Show the front again. And we also have a lovely inside. There you go. This is very nice. Uh, let's take that. Okay, and now I do like the label for this. The label is lovely. Okay, there we go. Is this yellow? Does this, does this look yellow to you? It looks more like a green to me, but uh, there you go. The guy who mixed the colours is possibly colour blind. This isn't quite yellow, but there you go. I'm not complaining. Okay. Uh, I won't bother showing you the other record because it's the same, um, but there is a poster with this. Oh no, tell a lie. No, this isn't the post. There is like a little inner sheet with this, okay? But it's only a double-sided, say double-sided, can open it. Just a few more pictures. Okay, that's that. And that's that. So it's not really a booklet as such, but it's kind of like just an inner sleeve thing, just to give it a little bit more, well, give it a little bit more extra with the package, shall I say. Right. Okay, guys, here's the poster. A little bit disappointing, I guess, for a poster. There we go. I'm going to stand back because it's giant, a big giant poster of Eric Carr. Now, I would have preferred maybe a poster of uh, maybe uh, of the whole band or maybe a poster of, I don't know, of the concert, you know, uh, advertising tickets or whatever for the concert. But just a picture of Eric Carr. Mm, I'd, I'd love Eric, uh, don't get me wrong, but a little bit um, can't be bothered attitude, so we'll just stick one of these in. So there you go. So that's that. And there you have it, boys and girls. That is Auckland 1980. Get it if you can. It is, um, it's a good one. It's a good one, okay? Right, guys, I'm going to take a break. And I dare say I will see you at some point. Uh, if I don't, look after yourselves and um, sayonara. See you guys. <laughs>